A new life-saving resource now available at the Kansas City Public Library. It's a kit that includes Narcan, which as you may know, reverses opioid overdoses. Yeah, not something that you might think to find at a library, but KSHB 41 News reporter Danielle Leon is live inside of our newsroom to kind of describe how many of these kits have been given out and how it all works. Danielle, good morning. Hey, good morning, Deja and Taylor. Well, 500 of these harm reduction kits were distributed. Let's take a look at what's inside. So they include a variety of things. They include essential hygiene products like toothpaste, dental floss, fentanyl testing strips, CPR masks, along with, of course, a bottle of Narcan. Now, again, they were all distributed across all 10 library branches within the Kansas City Public Library system. And it was actually librarians and library staff who pushed for these kits. We really are a pillar of the community and this is who we see every day. These are the people who come in every day. And so it's just, we're really happy to be at the table. So here's a look at how some of these kits are displayed inside the Central Resource Library in downtown KC. Now the kits are free and paid for by a variety of state and federal funds through a partnership between the Kansas City Public Library and First Call. Library staff is also receiving training to spot overdose signs and administer Narcan. First Call says depending on where you go, Narcan can cost more than $70 a dose and these kits are addressing accessibility and affordability. I think that the number of deaths from overdose would definitely be reduced if Narcan was more accessible. It's also about educating the community that um, any drug that you buy off the street today is potentially dangerous and could take your life. So it's also about just educating our younger population too that recreational drug use isn't necessarily just experimentation for fun anymore. It could take your life. Now, these kids are available across all 10 library branches. Library staff did tell me that some branches are seeing a higher demand for them than others. Reporting inside the newsroom, I'm Danielle Leone. Back to you.